All right, guys, what is up? Sean Ames here, cleaning my desk <laughs> from Heart of America FPV. Yesterday, I think it was yesterday, I got a Facebook message on our Heart of America team chat from one of our dudes, I think it was Amari Christian. Ah, sorry if I'm not giving you the right credit, saying that there was a firmware update for the Hoda charger. I own two of these. I haven't done this yet. The other one's down at the race cabin. I don't feel like going to get it right now. There's a firmware update that amongst other things turns this into a bench power supply. So I couldn't find a YouTube video about how to update this firmware. So I figured I would make one. I will put a link in the description to the Hoda firmware website thing. It was a little hard for me to find. I kept doing Google searches for it. And eventually it took me to a forum where there was a link to the firmware. So I will put that in the description, but here we've got our Hoda charger and here we have the software. So what you're supposed to do, you're supposed to hold CH, plug in power, connect USB, and then open the file and updates. <laughs> Let's give it a shot here and see what happens. So I'm gonna hold CH. Okay, so it's, it's beeping. Now I'm gonna connect USB. So there's a micro USB over here on the side. Okay. All right, so with that thing beeping in the background, when you download this in our downloads folder here, in this folder, there's actually the software that we were just looking at. And then there's also Word document that's in Mandarin or Chinese or whatever. And then there's this, which I think is the firmware file. So we're gonna open that and then we are going to click update and see what happens. Okay, the beeping stopped, that's good. So it's erasing the app. It's writing the application data. Ooh, ooh. Well, it had a little new screen on it. That was exciting. I'm just gonna click this and see what it does. English, nice. Okay, so that's if you wanna change the language it's in. I think that was it. So let's have a look at the charger and see what is different. Well, we can unplug that, select task. There it is, power supply. Awesome, that's actually super cool. So you can select the voltage. So five volts is the lowest, or you can go all the way up to, I imagine 29 volts. That's kind of cool. I think the most usable is like 12 volts. And then you can select the output power. Okay, now what I've done here on my bench, it's not the most sophisticated thing. I don't know if you guys can see this. It's like I had it taped to the wall, but it fell. This is like an old laptop, a 12 volt laptop power supply. What I did to it, and I don't know what the power output of it is, but I soldered a XT60 on the bottom of it. Anytime I'm like working on a quad and I need to plug in power, I use this. It gives it 12 volts and it's also a limited amount of power amps. Like I've had a quad before with props on. I don't, I, I don't recommend this. Okay. This is just kind of a half baked safety precaution I take is using this because if you ramp up the motors, like if you actually push the throttle up to like 10%, the ESC restarts, this can't deliver enough amps for it to, uh, to get going super good. So it feels a little safer than plugging in a 6S battery. Now you, you could do something like this. If I wanted to try doing 6S I could do, you know, 26 volts. I could do 26.2 volts, but limit it at like 20 watts. And I'd have to do the math to figure out, you know, how many amps that is. But I, I, I imagine that that would be, it might not even power up. I don't even know. Oh, well, 20 watt, 20 watts is quite a bit. Probably power up pretty good. You know, maybe this would be a good option there. Or just having a variable um, output voltage, I think, is absolutely incredible. I just realized I did 26.2. It's supposed to be 25.2. So that's it. And you could start task. Nice. And now channel one here is outputting 25.21 volts and zero amps. Let's see if I'm noticing anything else different under the charge function in loop. I don't know what that is. I think that's new. I don't recognize that. Smart battery. Is that something that's been there the whole time? So LiPo. Yeah, this is how I typically charge. 4.25 volts per cell. 3 amps, which is probably too high, but just kind of cool. So something new from your Hoda charger. I'll definitely be doing that to the other one as well, just so it's all updated and nice. But uh, hopefully this helps you out. And uh, we're going to catch you next time on Heart of America FPV. Later.